leverage the rim. And he's a lot stronger, Kevin, than most people think. I mean, he's able to hold off Kofi that time on the finish. That's impressive. With Coburn inside against Trace James. This is a handful down in the post one-on-one. -on -one. And it looked like Hawkins lost his balance. He was complaining to Rob Kuhneman. Maybe feeling like he got pushed down, but no blood, no foul. Lavella will spin it down to Coburn. The hook drops over today and carry over to today. He's playing under control, setting up his teammates beautiful. Here's Coburn again. Ooh. Position. <laughs> he doesn't want to get him out of the game. Next dead ball will be immediate time. That's right. He'll get his breather. Johnson driving. Coburn had enough energy. Well, that's a great counter by the Illini. Indiana working so hard to keep the ball out of the paint. You swing it cross court. Hit Coleman in the shooting pocket. He does the rest. Thompson. Working against Hawkins. Turns. Hook. Swatted away. Kofi Coburn. Plummer. There's three. 15 for Alfonso Plummer. That's a defensive mistake there by Keegan. You know who you're guarding. He got caught ball watching. Perkins got blocked. For the shot, his second personal foul. As it turns out, not a bad foul. Took two off the board. Cobra to go to work again. This time, Cobra. Plowing Nixon Davis. Two to shoot. One to shoot. Left it a little short. There's Curbelo in there to get the rebound. In that scenario, I want Rob Fennessy to make a play. You don't give it to your big that late in the shot clock. There's not much they can do with it. Bounce inside to Colbert. That was just first time that he led the Illini. Murray gets the defender to fly by. The Big Ten's leading score gets blocked by Colburn. Trent Frazier back the other way. Over the top, Colburn. He's got it. And an early able to elevate Wisconsin this season but Kofi Coburn and Keegan Murray two players in this game because of the way he moves and the way he has developed his skill set over his three years in Champaign. Corbello's a 19 percent three-point shooter this year so you understand why that would be the decision. Can't hit